with that, let me turn to the final part of my presentation, and that's the, uh, the paper prizes. Michael's here today, Bruno's not, and he's going to help me in, uh, in presenting the, uh, uh, the papers. So we have two sets of prizes, the Brattle Group prizes and the Amundi Smith Breeden prizes. Uh, the process has been, and, uh, and was again this year, that our associate editors uh, nominate uh, the best papers from the issues over the past year. Uh, a list of finalists is formed, and then the AEs uh, vote on these finalists, and that determines the, uh, the prize winners that you're about to hear about today. We're going to do the Brattle Prizes first, and, uh, uh, and then the Amundi Smith Breeden Prizes. I believe there are representatives from the Brattle Group here. Uh, and if so, they, would they please come to the front of the room to, uh, to help Michael uh, uh, award the prizes. So we, in each category, there are uh, three prizes. There are two distinguished papers, and then there's a, a first prize winner. And so I'm just going to walk through them uh, in order, again, starting uh, with the Brattle Prizes. So the first uh, distinguished paper is Fire Sales and a Model of Complexity by Ricardo Caballero and Alp Simsek from MIT. So if they're here, would they please come to the room? The second distinguished paper is Borrow Cheap, Buy High, The Determinants of Leverage in Pricing and Buyouts by Ulf Axelson, Tim Jenkinson, Per Stromberg, and Michael Weisbeck. And then finally, the, the first paper in, for the Brattle Prize is A Theory of Debt Maturity, The Long and Short of Debt Overhang by Doug Diamond and Zico Hay. So for the Amundi Smith Breeden Award, we do not have a representative from the organizations here today, is my understanding. So we'll proceed with the, uh, the awards, and, and Michael will hand them out. Uh, again, starting with the uh, distinguished papers. Uh, the first one is the TIPS Treasury Bond Puzzle by Blankenstein, Longstaff, and Lustig from UCLA. The second distinguished paper is The Cross-Section of Managerial Ability, Incentives, and Risk Preferences by Ralph Coyton. And finally, the first paper for the Amundi Smith Breeden Prize this year is Growth Opportunities, Technology Shocks, and Asset Prices by Leonid Kogan, Dmitry Papanikolaou. So what's remarkable, and for, for those of you uh, who uh, were not here last year, you may not realize that uh, Dimitri, with a different co-author, actually received this award last year. So I think we owe him a little extra round of applause for two years in a row. <laughs> So 
that ends the awards, and thank you very much. Fifteen years ago, the American Finance Association instituted its Society of Fellows to recognize individuals who have made distinguished contributions uh, to the field of finance. Each year, the society is joined by the previous AFA president, as well as an individual elected by the existing fellows. I'm very pleased to announce that this year's elected fellow is Ben Bernanke. As we all know, Ben's finance contributions comprise far more than his distinguished research advancing the interface between macroeconomics and finance. Ben's actions as Fed chairman are regarded wisely as having been crucial in steering the U.S. financial system through its worst crisis in generations. Ben's academic career, especially his work on the Great Depression and the pivotal roles for financial markets and economic downturns, provided him with key insights that he combined with courageous leadership in a way that made him the uniquely right person for the job at such a critical time. His performance at that job brought great distinction, not only to himself, but to our profession. Of course, I could go on at length about Ben's other accomplishments, editor of AER, chairman of Princeton's economics department, director of the NBER monetary economics program, best-selling textbook author, fellow of the Econometric Society and the American Academy of Arts and Sciences, and so on. I'll simply say on behalf of the American Finance Association that we are thrilled to welcome as an AFA fellow, Ben Bernanke. Thank you very much. I very much appreciate it. Thank you. It's one of the great pleasures of being former president to give out a bunch of recognitions. And uh, I'm also pleased to uh, announce the recipient of the Fisher Black Prize. The Fisher Black Prize is awarded by the American Finance Association to the individual under age 40 who best exemplifies the Fisher Black hallmark of pro producing original research that is relevant to finance practice. The prize is given every other year, and the recipient is selected by a committee appointed by the AFA's Board of Directors. I'd like to thank my fellow members of the selection committee, Peter DiMarzo, Michael Roberts, Paolo Sapienza and Antoinette Shore. This year's recipient of the Fisher Black Prize is Yuli Sanikoff, professor of economics at Princeton University. Yuli's research spans topics including security design, contract theory, financial frictions, market microstructure, and game theory. His work has been pathbreaking in bringing continuous time methods and stochastic calculus to produce insights into these topics that would otherwise be elusive. Yuli's contributions have already spurred significant research by others, and the committee believes his influence will only continue to grow. Especially appropriate in this awarding of the prize is how Yuli's novel applications of continuous time methods evoke parallels with the earliest applications of these methods in finance, the pricing of derivatives, where, of course, Fisher Black's work was pivotal. It's my great pleasure to present the Fisher Black Prize to Yuli Sanikoff. Thank you. Thank you. Great, thanks. Uh, put things back in the hand of our program chair, Patrick. 